Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have my coffee in hand. I am filming in the kitchen just because Olive's up for a nap and it's nice and bright in here. So today's video is exciting because when I was back in Canada, I was um, downtown in the city and a friend actually told me about this store called the Detox Market. This is their little bag here and everything they sell is cruelty free, natural, organic, all that fun stuff. So. You guys have been asking for a while now for like that type of makeup tutorial so I bought a bunch of stuff and that's what I'm gonna do so if you guys want to see me use some products that are just really good like the ingredients are amazing cruelty free vegan natural all that fun stuff then just keep on watching okay so I didn't get a primer nothing new there because I don't normally wear primer but the foundation I bought is by the way all of the names of these products I've never heard of before and they all have like interesting names. I don't know if that's like a natural thing, but this is called Sappho, I'm hoping is what it's called. And it's the new Paradigm Essentials foundation. And this is a liquid foundation and I have it in the shade Lisa. There is another range in this um, brand that's a little bit lighter. This is the more medium coverage, def definitely buildable, but uh, yeah, I got the more medium coverage foundation just because I felt like the natural one might not have any coverage. Yes, yeah, so I got the color Lisa. I've been wearing it nonstop. Like I am such a fan of this. I do have a little bit of fake tan on, so I'll just have to really blend it in here. I'm just gonna take one pump on the back of my hand here and I'm actually just gonna use my fingers to apply this. I feel like um, it's the most natural application and I tried using it with a brush and a beauty blender and I just didn't like the, I don't know, appearance of it as much um, as to my fingers. So ah, I just kind of like it. This also smells incredible. Like it's very, all of these products just smell so good because of the ingredients. They're just all natural. But it just, it smells like you're going to the spa, but you're doing your makeup. Okay, that is the foundation on. As you can see, it's very natural, um, buildable coverage, but you're not gonna get like a full coverage look out of that foundation, but I don't want that. I just want something that looks like my skin, but a little bit more enhanced. So I really love that. Just love the finish that it gives. Onto concealer. I am very impressed with this concealer considering the ingredients. And I always thought when it came to concealer, you needed you know, a little bit more coverage and I didn't think uh, that was possible with natural makeup products. So this one is by the brand Hint Beauty with a Y and it's in the shade Light, I believe. It says Duet on the back. I don't know if there's another range in this brand, but it's Duet Perfecting Concealer in Light. Definitely has a more yellow warm undertone. It's in a little pot like this, kind of like the um, NARS Soft Matte Concealer or Oh, what's that MAC concealer? Anyways, very hydrating considering it is full coverage. It is very hydrating, which I love. I think that's amazing. So I'm gonna put this under my eyes with my finger just because I find anything that has a little bit more coverage when it comes to concealer blends out really beautifully with your hand because skin on skin contact is one of the best tools you can use because it just melts into the skin seamlessly. Bringing it all the way down this side of my nose here. Olive and I actually slept in until 10.30, so no bags to cover here today, but I just want to show you the contrast between these. Like, look at that. That was like the smallest amount on my ring finger, and it has incredible coverage. I just think that's insane. Now, to set that all in place, I'm going to use this powder foundation. It is by Alima Pure. It says F. It's a pressed foundation with rose hip antioxidant complex, and I have the shade sesame so if you're not a fan of liquid foundations and you prefer a powder foundation then you could definitely use this it does have a little bit more coverage but i kind of liked the more coverage powder just because i do have more oily skin so i just thought this was a good you know alternative to a setting powder just to make sure that the makeup lasts as long as possible so i'm just taking it on a little stippling brush tapping off any extra and just really concentrating it on the area is she waking up no nope. Just concentrating it on the areas that get a little bit oily throughout the day. Oh, no, she is waking up. All right. Hello, please. Do you like watching me do my makeup? Yeah? Okay, now all of us watching me, I'm just going to continue finishing powdering my face because I am getting a little oily already just running around the house. So I want to make sure this lasts as long as possible. 
slash I am going to an event today. It's Olive's first event. It's for a baby online baby store and it's an afternoon tea event, which is great because I am hungry. <laughs> Can't say no to that. So we're headed off in a couple of hours. I don't know about you, but having a baby, she just likes to like eat everything. Like she'll grab my hair, she'll like bite my face. She doesn't have teeth, but like, you know, she just sucks everything. So knowing that these products have really great ingredients in them and they're not harmful, is kind of a plus. Okay, so the next product, which is bronzer, I actually didn't purchase at Detox Market because I forgot, which is really interesting because bronzer is one of my favorite makeup products to put on my face. So I don't have a bronzer. But I went to Sephora and I tried to, oh, is that fun? Do you love bronzer too? She's a bronzer girl. Um, so I tried just asking for the most, you know, natural, cruelty-free, vegan bronzer they had. It's probably not going to be as natural products or natural ingredients as these other products, but bear with me here. It's the Tarte Bronzer in Hotel Eris. I think they have Park Avenue Princess as well. Seemed a little pale, um, maybe it's not because this one's really dark, but I'm just gonna use this and bronze and warm up this face. It is very pigmented and very dark, so I probably should have gone with Park Avenue Princess, but it just looks so light in the pan. Also gonna put a little bit on my eyelids to create a little bit of depth. Multi-purpose product, guys. I feel like I never actually use eyeshadow anymore. Now resuming schedule with the Detox Market products. I picked up this highlighter. It is Ritual de Filet. File? Filet? Is that funny? Can't pronounce it. Rare Light Illuminizer. And this is in the shade Anthelion. Anthelion. Where are these names coming from? Anyway, this is a cream product. Really beautiful, like rose gold kind of copper hue, which I thought was kind of different. I like warming this up on the back of my hand just because it does have a little bit of tack on it. Am I just so funny today, Olive? You know, just a funny mom. But you can just see here, it just has such a really, you know, natural, luminous, rose gold hue to it. So, I'm going to use what's on the back of my hand and just start pressing that into my skin. And I just think it makes your skin look dewy and healthy. Again, using it on my eyelids. And, oh, I just think this is so perfect. If you're not really into, like, those blinding highlighters, which, you know, every once in a while is nice to put on. But if you just want a subtle, pretty highlight, I'm into this. Okay, last product here, and this is a great multi-purpose product. It is definitely the most expensive item in this entire review, makeup tutorial, um, whatever you want to call it. It is by the brand, oh my goodness, this is the hardest brand to pronounce. Kajer Weiss, Weiss, Ja Weiss, do you pronounce the K? Do you pronounce the J? Ka Weiss? It's a cream blush, but I'm going to use it as a cream eyeshadow, a cream blush, and for my lips. Um, beautiful, has a lot of weight to it. You can make this product cheaper if you just want to buy the insert that comes in here, but then you don't have a case for it, so I feel like for, I think it was like $25 more, yes, it's a little bit much. You do get a case, but it does come with a mirror. It's very luxurious. It has some weight to it. Um, and obviously they're refillable, so once you're done with it, you can just buy the insert for the next purchase. So it works itself out. Anyways, this is in the shade Blossoming, love the name. Uh, really beautiful universal shade. The makeup artist at uh, Detox Kitchen, Detox Market, Detox Market was saying that this is the shade that she uses on most of their models whenever they do a photo shoot or whatever, and it just suits everyone. So good to know if you want just one product out of this entire thing. Highly recommend this because you can kind of use it all over your face. So just like the previous product, I'm going to use it on the back of my finger, rub it on the back of my hand, and just press this onto my skin. It is gorgeous. It's kind of like the same tone as the shirt I'm wearing. It has like a little bit of a mauve undertone, but it just, oh, I'm really into this color. 
and it blends beautifully on top of cream, on top of powder, because we've used a couple of different powders on our face. And it doesn't look heavy. That's what I love with all of these products. I've layered different textures and it still looks like I'm not wearing that much makeup, which is amazing. I'm gonna pop that on my eyes as well. You guys know I love using blush on my eyelids. Bring this little look together. And then lastly, just gonna take this and put it on my lips as well for my lip color because it's so beautiful as a lip shade as well. Bless you. So this is the finished effect. It's very dewy, uh, pink undertone, has a little bit of a peachy rose gold hue to it as well. Yeah, just so impressed with these natural uh, ingredients and in these products. I feel like they really deliver a nice effect to my face. I've been wearing them for the past two weeks. I have been loving them. So I'm really happy to do this tutorial for you guys and just have another option for really great natural vegan cruelty free products for you. Hopefully you enjoy and I will link um, them all down below and hopefully they're all worldwide shipping because that would be amazing because I would love for you to try them out as well. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!